A negative suggestion effect is when an individual learns the wrong answer rather than the correct answer. Negative suggestion effects often occur after multiple choice or short answer exams due to wrong assumptions made in the exam not being corrected. The phrase negative suggestion effect was created by Reamers and Reamers in 1926 after they noticed students increased belief in false statements from tests. Rodiger and Marsh gave students an MCQ test and then a QD recall test. They found that performance on the QD recall test decreased as the number of incorrects on the MCQ test increased. Researchers suggested a possible explanation for the negative suggestion effect. When we are exposed to information, we develop an implicit memory and then retain an explicit memory for the falseness of the information. The problem of learning incorrect information is that it can interfere with correct information, leading to confusion over what is true and what is false. Students often come to logical reasons over why their incorrect answer is correct. Brown et al. argued that the negative suggestion effect could have a deleterious impact on memory. Mislearning learning is very time expensive and can have an impact on later learning. Students are given their exam results in a two minute session with their personal tutor, but given no feedback on what is right or wrong. Most students are only tested in two sessions throughout the year. This is not enough testing as it allows little feedback or performance. MCQ tests in first and second year stats also give students a grade weekly and never give feedback on what a student got wrong. In this situation, students may write or choose an incorrect answer and then believe this is correct for the future as the mistake was never corrected. We propose that when students are being given the results of their final exams, they should be given a copy of their script and a copy of the marking guidelines. They should also be given an appointment with their personal tutor to go through the marking guidelines and their script if they want to. The feedback for the first and second year stats exams is being improved upon this year as they are reteaching areas that students are struggling with. However, we propose that the lecturer should spend 10 to 15 minutes at the beginning of the lecture going through the answers to the previous MCQ. Students should also be given the opportunity to go and collect their paper from the assignment desk so they can see exactly what, which questions they got right and wrong. Lecturers could also use clickers more during lectures as these give immediate feedback. If these changes are made, it will lead to less negative learning and will increase students' learning and improve their results. Using clickers more in lectures will lead to more participation from students, which will also improve their learning. These changes will be beneficial for lecturers as it will be easier for them to know where students are going wrong and what subjects they need to be reteaching or going over in more detail. Lecturers could also try different methods of teaching to help the students retain more information.